Oh. Hello, Potato. If you follow the at Void of Intelligence Instagram, you'll have seen me post a picture that kind of indicates that December is going to have a lot of Lego in it. And it is. But I figured, why wait the extra three days when we can do some Lego now? So I mentioned in my most recent Weekend Magic video, the, the one that I released yesterday, if you're watching these as they come out, that I was not terribly impressed with, well, frankly, really anybody's Black Friday sales, but LEGO in particular, just because last year's was pretty good and this year's was pretty not. But I did go into the store and buy just enough to get the uh, in-store giveaway set. Not the $170 one that I didn't, frankly, like anyways, but the little $40 one to get kit 30576 the holiday tree which i am about 85 percent sure is the exact same kit they gave away last year on black friday i haven't looked it up to verify it but i i'm like 85 percent sure if it's not exactly the same kit it's certainly a very similar kit uh, it is 70 pieces and it is not what we're doing today instead we're going to do the thing that i bought to help get to that amount, which is kit 40426, the Holiday Wreath. It is for ages 9 and up, it's 510 pieces, pretty much looks like all fiddly bits. Uh, yeah, this this is gonna be fun. Uh, it's got, it's actually a two-in-one kit. You can do it either as a hanging wreath or as a like centerpiece wreath. And I think for the purposes of this video, just I think also it's gonna use more pieces, We'll do the centerpiece version. Also, I'm going to be sitting it down here on the table. I don't really have anything to hang it off of. I don't have any hooks that I can easily and quickly attach to the shelves to hang it from. So we're going to set it down and then my wife can turn it into a hanging version if that's what she wants to do with it herself. That way she gets some of the fun of building it too. I believe this was $34.99, so it was a little bit shy of the $40 mark you needed for that little tree. So I also bought a white base plate, which will not show in this video, but you'll see it in the future when I do stuff with the whole LEGO Village. If it won't actually be in a video, it'll at least be on the at Void of Intelligence Instagram when I set it all up. So let's take a look at this and see what we have here. And for that, I'm going to need a cutter because it's not a thumb punch, which I like. Not a big fan of the Thun Punch. All right, it's a hinged box. Oh, maybe we can store the thing back in it after the holidays. Got, looks like at least three parts of this. And of course, we have a brick puller because you always have to have those nowadays. I have so many of those. Just, just all around me, so many of them. Three, bag one. All right, so three parts. We've got all the, like basically all the non-green stuff, all the green stuff, and then the red and the white, which I'm guessing is the bow and the candles. And it has two different instruction booklets, one for the hanging wreath and one for the non-hanging wreath. So maybe my wife will just have a whole bunch of stuff she can still do herself if she wants to do the hanging version. We'll let her make that decision. So yeah, let's uh, get some idea of how many steps we're looking at here. How long is this going to be? It's going to be one video. We're not going to do this in like three different videos or anything. It's got a few different configurations here. Oh, so you can even use them as uh, the hanging. That's kind of cool. So 53 steps. We're going to have 53 steps to get this to the formation pictured there. Uh, there's no QR code on this one. It's probably on the other one. Well, you can look it up. It's 40426. You can find it on the lego.com site if you want to follow around. I, I, does anybody do that? I don't think anybody does that. I don't think anybody does that. But then again, you know, other than me, I can't think of anybody who actually would sit there and watch people build Lego because these videos don't, uh, don't indicate that anybody's watching these ones. But that's okay. This is for me. This channel is always primarily, first and foremost, for my amusement. And with that bit of self-centered twaddle, let's get into the fast forward.
So there we are. There is the build instructions for that. Uh, as you can see, there are a number of pieces left over here. I'm guessing you get to use maybe more of this stuff when you build the hanging one, because like the, the bow on the hanging version is quite a bit bigger and the little mini bows on this. And it shows you some other methods of building in here. It only shows you has instructions for this and that, but it does also suggest some other methods of setting it up like that and like section B there and option C if you wanted something that's very not Christmassy or section D if you want to just be a little more, a little more plain. You know, you have options, but those ones you have to kind of eyeball and figure out yourself. There's no detail step-by-steps on those. Although I imagine a reasonably intelligent person or somebody with experience in Lego could figure out how to do that. But, um, you know, the cute little set would look good on a table, put like a real candle in the middle or something, or maybe a, maybe a vase with some of the Lego flowers. It'd be nice if we did some Lego poinsettias for the holiday season, but at least as of now, uh, that's not a thing that they have made an official kit. I imagine with some looking, I could find online some instructions on how to do that myself. But yeah, some extra stuff. So that's gonna go back and looks. So yeah, we're definitely gonna keep this box because I do think this would fit back in it. It's a little smaller than I thought. I thought it would be a bigger wreath than this. I don't know why I thought 510 pieces would be bigger than this, but uh, I, I did. I have, I have real problems with spatial visualization, just so you know. That's why I have to measure things if I wanna make sure I'm doing something correctly. But that is our build of Lego Kit 40426, the holiday wreath uh, as the centerpiece. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to my wife. She may redo it as a hanging piece. Like there's the string for hanging it. There's lots of other little leaves. You can see the leaves that go down there. Lots of bits for uh, more bow. This definitely is, I guess, the smaller build of the two. Maybe not the best option for a video, but it's what I've done and I'm gonna have to live with it for now. On the bright side, though, it means this video is basically done. I mean, uh, opinions, uh, you know, lots of fiddly bits. Uh, of course, I love fiddly bits, but no stickers. I do love to see no stickers. And I don't think it would take a whole lot to convert from this to that. I'm thinking basically take off the bows, take off the candles, take off these bits, and you probably can pick up from there to build it out like that. Maybe some uh, extra at the top up there, that would be the top, to hang on the string to hang it with. But overall, a nice little holiday set. Um, let you let you have a little creativity, let you follow instructions, you know, kind of kind of do your own thing with it. I've enjoyed building it, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it, and I do thank you for watching it. If you did enjoy watching it, or at least found it at all remotely interesting, uh, go ahead and give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, this kit, if you're into it, is, I believe, still available from Shop Lego. It's like the only holiday kit that was on the Shop Lego site on Black Friday. And my local store had plenty of them on Friday anyways. I mean, who knows what they have by now. They also had a bunch of the Santa's visits. They, they still had ad ads, actually, when I went in there, because they're $800 a piece. And yeah, I'm probably going to rag on that like every time I mention uh, Lego for the next month, which is going to be like literally every video. So that I, I will probably, I'll try to not do that constantly. I say try. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, have yourself an enjoyable end of November. And if you're into Christmas, may you enjoy your December. And if you're not into Christmas, may it at least go by quickly. Uh, if you, if you want to wallow in the holidays, but uh, still look at Lego. Again, like every day in December, we'll have Lego stuff in it. So I will see you in the next video, which, which actually won't be Lego. But yeah, next video.